Um, this is let's see what would happen. What would life is like in back in mommy Africa, as JLP would say. No, no, learning the hard way, they punch, no. kick, and scream. This is their way of trying to reclaim the streets of the slum they live in, one of the most dangerous in the city. For years, the elderly women of Korogosho had been a soft target for rapists and robbers. Then they said enough is enough. They took up these basic martial arts classes to help them fight off unwanted attention. The tactic of hitting hard and shouting even harder has worked. We say no because just screaming won't help. People will just think it's a domestic quarrel. But if you keep saying no, 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 people will listen. We visited these grannies four years back at the height of the violence against them. We featured Mary Wangoi then. She has since had a stroke after losing seven of her children, three of them to gang violence. I get strength every time I come to this group. It has been a source of inspiration. They may seem old and weak, but these women are by no means defenseless. They tell us that these classes have helped them in very scary situations, and no one here dares mess with the grandmothers of Korogosho anymore. 70-year-old Beatrice Nyariera was attacked at her home a couple of months ago. I opened the door and hit him on the nose with my elbow. He fell and then I stepped on him. And that's when he told me, don't kill me, Grandma. The commotion brought out my neighbor. They all have frightening tales of their harsh lives in the slums. But as they go home after a session, they walk with a confident swagger, knowing that they now have more control over their lives and the environment they are in. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Nairobi. Okay, so grandmothers got to know how to fight, man, when you and ex mom yap. Yeah. <laughs> Reporters head to the Russian Republic of Chechnya, ruled by Muslim strongmen. And the subjugation of women. Because of you, people are talking about... And head to the neighboring... One in five victims of sexual assaults. The right... And pursue... This is an uncertain future. Now, it's probably not an activity you would expect a group of elderly women to pursue, but these Kenyan grandmothers in a Nairobi slum are taking self-defence classes. This is because in Kenya, one in five victims of sexual assaults is a woman aged over 60. There are attackers preying on older women because they're believed to less likely have HIV. Uh, to That's that's your, Christ, that's your life when um that's your life without gliders, son woman. <laughs> you that's your life without gliders, man. And, and I promise you it is. Like I promise you, because remember what she said. I want to see if you caught it. What she said, because um, it's very important for you to understand that if you can't get if you can't get this. We can't really go any further. That's why I want to make sure. If Hit one if you heard it. Now, it's probably not an activity you would expect a group of elderly women to pursue, but these Kenyan grandmothers in a Nairobi slum are taking self-defence classes. This is because in Kenya, one in five victims of sexual assaults is a woman aged over 60. There are attackers preying on older women because they're believed to less likely have HIV. Uh, did you hear it? Hit one if you do, if you got it. Scientific method. There you go. They're not. They they they're gonna rape somebody, but they're choosing older women because they're less likely to have HIV. Not that the rapes would stop. So if 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 the HIV rates were lower than the rest of the population, they would just rape those people. But because it's higher in that other part of the population, they're forced to rape the older women. Salute to Myhana Confidential. 
I have pro-white gliders that I'm friends with who are also against race mixing. I believe her. She knows what she's talking about. Oh, I believe her. I just don't think she would say it on camera. And um, I don't think with her face out there. I just don't believe it. Um, this is and this is and this is Al Jazeera, super woke. Super woke channel, Al Jazeera. But they have to report this because this is the news in Kenya. This is what's going on. Now, it's probably not an activity you would expect a group of elderly women to pursue, but these Kenyan grandmothers in a Nairobi slum are... Would he drop? I think so. Probably be back. Yeah. Hey, I commuted. My bad. My bad. Um, I actually pressed the wrong button. Um, yeah. This is this is the news on that side of the world. The news is the news, man. I, I I'm I'm sure you guys glad I cover fucking. New Orleans and fucking St. Louis and not this shit. How much of this shit could you take, man? Now, it's probably not Hold on, let me read this super chat. Salute to Mad Peace. Mad Peace says, I finally got the night off. I respect this show more than ABL, Brandon Tatum, and Candace Owens put together. I still love them all, but Ock Nation is where my heart belongs. Salute. Now, listen, let me just say this right quick. Shout out to ABL. Shout out to Brandon Tatum and Candace. They're going to do their real work during the election season. They all have close to a million subs, and they can get reach as a, get the black conservative um, talking points out there. And um, and they can, you know, hopefully, you know, help, you know, you guys, you, you conservatives get in the White House. Salute to all those people, man. They doing the Lord's work, man. Um but yeah, no one compares to this show, man. It just is what it is. And salute to all the panelists and all the all stars and everybody support the channel. Now it's probably not an activity you would expect a group of elderly women to pursue, but these Kenyan grandmothers in a Nairobi slum are taking self-defense classes. This is because in Kenya, one in five victims of sexual assaults is a woman aged over 60. They're attackers preying on older women because they're believed to less likely have HIV. Our team on the ground sent us this report. In front of a crowd of elderly spectators, Jane is simulating an assault. No, 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 no! She's teaching the club self-defense. If someone comes to assault you, to attack you, they could also want to rape you. You must not stay silent. I myself was a victim of rape. I was assaulted in 2007. Six months later, a woman offered me self-defense lessons. At that time, several women spoke up and told me that they had experienced the same thing. The group was formed from these meetings. In the slum of Korogocho, attacks are frequent and no one is safe. Every month, the self-defense cor self course welcomes students aged 75 to 100 in a room usually used to dry clothes. Regardless of their fitness levels, the ladies take part in some physical activity. They learn how to summon the courage to call for help in the event of assault, often committed by much younger men. Young men go after older women because they think they won't have sexually transmitted infections. That's why they wait around for us in the slum to attack us. This subject is extremely taboo. Getting together allows the women to talk about it. Njoki has been living alone since her husband died two years ago. This makes her vulnerable. I thank God. Thanks to him, I'm well. And I was able to learn a lot of things. In particular, how to protect myself. 
after class, and Jokey's walk home is just a few meters. But at night, it is easy for an intruder to pass through the thin metal door. That's what happened to her a few weeks ago, but she managed to scare the attacker away. The other women and children should learn what we've been taught so that they can protect themselves as well. She says the number of violent incidents has decreased in Coragocho thanks to the self-defense courses. She hopes that similar projects will now spread across Kenya. Now, she was a pioneer in her field with her... Why do you think they did that um, long shot on this little girl? Anybody? It shows that it was an apparatur anyway. Huh? It shows that she stands. It's showing that she stands a chance to get raped. Um, if they didn't have the, if they have the old woman as an option. What's up with her hair, though? You know, like weaving? No, they braided it, then they um, kept it straight. Salute to Miles Ruckendorf, man. He says, since we're in South Africa, look up South Africa farm attack in Kill the Boar song. Kill the Boar song. Oh, Kill the Boar song. Oh, good night, y'all. I'm going to get out of here. All right, man. You take it easy, man. All right. Good night. All right. Y'all have a good rest of your weekend. Yeah, you too, man. Sure. Right, let's take you to the free state now where tensions are